I'll shoot a little update video here, just a quick video. I got inside this thing because the wind's blowing so out there that you probably wouldn't be able to hear me. And what I did this morning was went down and got these little curtains installed. And I think they're just awesome. I have these retired friends and they help me with projects and I laid hardwood flooring for them in their house and, and then they turn around and help me hang siding on my son's place and seems like I'm always in their debt. I try to catch up but they're always doing something for me and uh, but we're not keeping score and uh, it's a lot of fun and so she made these curtains for me and I, I tried to, I took the ones out, the original ones, I took them out and, and tried to wash them and they just dis disintegrated. It was just a pile of muck in the bottom of the washer when the cycle was over. So uh, we went and bought $10.50 worth of material. She whipped out these little curtains for me. So we got them on the back door and both the side doors. And I think that's pretty awesome. And so other than installing my curtains, I pretty much spent the day cleaning my shop. And uh, I'm pretty excited about that. I told a guy that one time, I said, man, I finally finished up my season and I had a day off and I, I finally got to clean my shop. And he goes, you mean you, your first day off and and you cleaned the garage? And, and he just didn't get it. You know, I go, no, 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 this is, this is not a garage, man. This is my shop. And things happen in my shop. And sometimes it happens all night long. I got all the grafting stuff put away up there for another year and my bench cleaned off where we had saws you know either sharpening or fixing or putting together or building knives and whatnot over there on that bench and that's all cleaned up and and now this baby's over back over here where she belongs and I can get back to work on it so that's why I'm excited about getting my shop cleaned up so things do happen here and like I said, sometimes it happened all night long, and I got a kick out of Novelist 10 the other night because he was working on that Plymouth Valiant, and I think he said it was about 10 o'clock or whatever. And he says, well, I'm getting ready to make a pot of coffee. And I go, yeah, he's one of us. <laughs> he's going to pull an all-nighter pretty much. So I need to get my pedal set up. What keeps me from driving this thing is uh, to get my pedal set up and get some brakes on it and uh, I mean it needs other things too but that's the that's the major things that keeps me from from driving it down the driveway under its own power and uh, we're kind of going with this music theme you know we've got the bass guitar neck for a shifter and and this is going to be my radiator cap this is an old radio broadcasting microphone and uh, I think that's going to sit up there and uh, then I can get it on the road. I mean, we don't have to get an ins get an inspection here. Uh, if you didn't have a title and you had to get a vehicle a VIN number and get a title, you would have to go to the state patrol and have it inspected. But since I had a title, all I had to do was just go down and transfer the title into my name and buy the plates for it. And I've got insurance. Uh, I've already got the plates for it. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, if you get pulled over, you have to be legal, but you don't have to go get it inspected prior to getting tabs for it. I mean, you've got to have the usual things, the windshield wipers, and brakes, emergency brakes, and lights, at least the lights that were original to the vehicle, and I'll do all that, but I might get it out and drive it once or twice first. So there we go. Got that back over there where it's supposed to be. Now I can get back to work on it.